If you're like me, you've probably heard a lot of stuff online. How to make money, build a sales funnel, use this device, use this automation. They cost a lot of money. I mean, for you to get real results, you need to spend thousands of dollars. And a lot of people won't tell you that. At one point, I was spending about ten dollars to $12,000 a month on my YouTube channel, and I was making the money back plus a nice profit. It got harder and harder and harder. I was spending more and more money, and the results were just kind of like, eh. You know, they really wasn't exploding. It really wasn't popping out the box. So I made a decision to create a money funnel. Now I know you're asking like, what is a money funnel? A money funnel is a list of people who have already bought something from you. Number one, it's a warmer list. The open rates are through the roof. The click through rates are through the roof. And this is what you need to do versus building a sales funnel. Building a sales funnel will get you some money, but it's highly inefficient because this is, you know, it's a funnel. You got the top of the funnel, right? You have all these people going in and then a few sales trickle out at the bottom. What if you had the reverse where you had the tip and more money came out the top? That's what the money funnel will do. It's harder to build. It takes time. It takes effort and talent, but the results are much better, much quicker, and much less expensive. Because this is my opinion and my opinion only. I think all of the platforms, Google AdWords, Facebook, Instagram, um, even Bing, their best interest is to make more money from us. And I've had these conversations where if you uh, spend $2 and you make one back or you spend $2 and you make $1.50 back, that's good, and just scale up your spend. I don't agree with that. I think that it's foolish, I think that it's dangerous, and at some point it's going to bite you in the rear end. What I believe is you need to have a good marketing campaign, a good direct sales program, and a money funnel, because then you have better results, you make more money, and you actually have a business that you like because this is one of the things and I'll tell you what happened to me about 2012 I dev deviated from having a money funnel and I got into building sales funnels I started listening to people and I started to automate process as a consequence my money went down and I was like okay there's just something that's just really strange I mean this should give me more money and then there are so many points in targeting and copywriting that you must have in your sales funnel for your sales funnel to work. And if any one of these elements is wrong, your sales funnel will break and it will cost you money. This is proven because if sales funnels were so great, why do most of the people who employ them don't make any money? Really think about that. Why do so many ad campaigns go bad? Why do so many people experience loss, loss of money, loss of time, loss of self-esteem, building sales funnels. Because it is common things to do. It is something that is socially acceptable. Hey, I'm building a sales funnel. Oh yeah, well get this automation tool, get this automation tool. Which, and once again, this isn't a rant against automation tools because if you have the appropriate things in place, you have the copywriting, you have the templates, you, you have the color, you've done your testing. A sales funnel can work out really well, but if you're like me, a person who doesn't have millions of dollars to test, building a money funnel is gonna be much cheaper, much easier, more profitable, and it's also going to let you know if your business model is working. Because if you can't make a money funnel work, then your business is broken. It has problems. Now, how does one build a money funnel? First of all, you create products that you sell to people at a lower price. And you build what I call a buyer's list. Everybody on my new list are buyers. And the open rate is 50% and the click-through rate is roughly 22. Now, my old list, which was much bigger, and it was older, it had about 5,000 people on it, and my open rates were like 9%. 
A lot of marketers won't tell you that because it's deplorable, it's disgusting. And my click-through rate was not even a percent. Now, how did I build such a bad list? Offering something very valuable for free. Let me say that again, because I know you're here. Give to it hurts, give good content, give it, give away free stuff and you'll build a good list. I wholeheartedly disagree. You will build a list of people who want something for nothing. And the minute that you ask them for money, they're going to unsubscribe. You'll get a few people you'll convert, but this smaller list, which is less than 300 people has made me more money than this bigger list did in a year. In what, two months, the smaller list has made me more money than that bigger list in a year. True story. So you should start developing your products and developing a money funnel. It should be money first, sales first oriented. It should not be how much value can I provide for free? Because let me tell you, my friends, there's a lot of you who are providing amazing value. You're putting together awesome offerings. You're giving away so much value. And then when it comes time for you to make some money, people are like, what? Why am I going to pay for something that people are giving away for free? It's kind of like that girl that dates this dude and she has sex with him for about a year. Then she at like a year and a month. She's like, I want a relationship. And the dude's like, not, not, I'm not feeling that. But, you know, we can have sex. I've been getting it for a year for free. What are you talking about dating? I'm actually dating this other girl. She's a good girl. It's the same principle. You can't give away your best stuff for free and hope people will pay you for it. Once upon a time, the Internet was like that. Uh, people would reciprocate. People would donate. But not today. Not in 2018. Mm -mm. People have groups on how to exploit money from retailers. Folks are savage. And I don't want you to be all clawed up and chewed up by the savages. I want you to make money. So do what I'm doing. Build a money funnel. Money first. Get that money. Ask for the sale. And your business will be smaller. But it'll be more profitable. Do you want to look good? Or do you want to be paid well? I think you want to be paid well. So for more information like this and more videos, be sure to subscribe. And also, have a great day dreaming about your money funnel, building your money funnel, rolling off in all that dough that your money funnel is going to make you because, trust me, this is what I do. I'm not one of those people that teach you how to do something that I don't do. This is what I'm doing with my business right now, and you can watch me deploy it in real time. Now, how cool is that? Like, comment, and subscribe.